Good afternoon, my little potato chips. I hope you are doing well. It's wee Paddy from across the shock. Uh, and it's a happy Memorial Sunday over there in the States. Uh, I hope you're all having a nice long weekend. Plenty to eat, drink and sharing it with friends, family and remembering those who died in service of your country. Now, what have I got to talk about today? Well, in honour of this great day, this is the US maker that to me keeps just moving the bar further and further away from challengers. This is a GEC, but this is a very special one because this is the, the club knife for my little club over here in the UK. And we were very honoured to get this done for us by GEC, just a small batch. Uh, I'm really honoured to get it. And it's a beautiful knife and they have not let anybody down. What it comes, it's the number 88 pattern. It comes in the tube and then we have our own art on the back of it. If you can see, it's a slip joint club. It's the Bayou Trapper, the Swamp Knife. What's it called? It Yeah, I don't know what they call it. It's just a, it's the Swamp Knife. It's going to be known as a Swamp Knife from now on. So I'll set that over to the side. I put it on this nice mat because I want to get a bit of a close up on it. There's the tube, the top of the tube, and it's a number 88. And the next eight is for the pattern of the main blade, which is a muskrat clip. And then there's two blades and then 2022. So that's what covers that. And then we've got our own little pin. I hope you can see that. The slip joint collectors. And it's the club knife 888222, which is the, the numbers I've just read out. Donating the knife. So I'll put that up there because that's beautiful. I like that. So what did we get? Well, I mean, I'm sure you've seen this on the, on the normal run. I'm not, I'm not sure how many people got it, but it was a beautiful knife. Let me just show you. Let me bring this in closer. There we go. Look at this knife. Just look at that. Isn't that crocodile just beautiful? It's a beautiful deep green with the worn edges on it. You can see more of the green. But it is a dark green and it's not, you know, black. It is, look at that beautiful. Look at that fit and finish. Come on. It's just gorgeous. Truly just, and the jigging, I just think, is absolutely beautiful. Transitions on this one are all really nice. I don't have any rough edges around the, the knife at all. I love it. As I normally do with GECs, but I was just getting that crocodile. I think, and I like the way they put the crocodile because when you open your main blade, and this says the slipped joint collectors, and that's our club. There you are. You can see it on the blade. I like it because you have the crocodile just there when you're showing somebody the knife. I just think it's beautiful. In hand, absolutely fantastic. Very low entry into the bolster here, so nothing to jag you. Really nice, slim clip point blade. And then on the other side, you have a lamb's foot. And how often do we get a lamb's foot? Not very. And this is a lovely, long, elegant, not super slim. This is a proper little works. The lamb's foot's a working blade, and this is definitely it. Whether you want to do just, you know, intricate sort of, work or you want to actually cut something this is a great blade both blades are of a good stock um i would say it's about nearly two mil but it weighs about three and a half ounces which is you know a twin blade two blades that have cutting edges of two and three quarters which is just fantastic and a three inch overall so that's really really you're getting two blades so that's going to be what four and a half inches of blade to three and a half ounces of knife. That's pretty outstanding. Yes, they're two blades, but the, the options they give you, each can do what the other can, but they can do a wee bit more than each other. You know, they've got different, really slim pointed lamb's foot, more of a work knife precision. It's just stunning. Now, I'll have to be honest, I wasn't going to get this from GEC. I didn't put in for it anywhere. Um, because the blades weren't my cup of tea. 
Then they came out with a crocodile, and by then it was too late. I, I just, whatever happened, I missed it. And I, I'd already said I wasn't going to get a club knife. Now, this is in the very beginning. Then I seen we were getting the green bone with a crocodile, and I thought, I have to. I just have to. So I was lucky enough to get in on the, the, the end of it, and I've got one. It only came yesterday. So in use, I've still to use it because the blades were not what I wanted. I didn't. I don't have too many twin blade GECs anymore, but this in hand is fine. Whether I'm going to like the blades, I don't know, but damn it all, I love that crocodile. Do we remember this? This is my polar bear knife. I bought this over £200. It's a custom made by J. Lloyd um, for the polar bear. That's how wacky I can be. But I love this knife. And now I've got a crocodile. So I can see a theme going here. I'm looking for other knives that have got animals on them. <laughs> I, just, I just think it's super. But look at that crocodile. Tell me that just doesn't. Oh, my grandchildren are going to love this. They love the polar bear. They're going to love this one. But again, you know, it's GEC. The fit and finish is super. Pinch bolsters, line bolsters. The jigging is, look at that. It is just beautiful. And the colour is genuinely green. Sometimes you get these greens and they're so dark, they're near black. This isn't. It just glows. It really is something special to behold. And the fact that it's our club knife, oh, how special. That This is not going anywhere. I love that. This will be the start of new collections of uh, animal knives. I, I, it really is. It's as simple as I love it. I love the fact when knives can just become little bits of artwork. But the skill to... Look... You, there is nothing sticking out here. This is smooth to the touch. Yes, you've got jig bone underneath it, but it's smooth. There's no rough edges on it. To get that inset and pinned, because GEC pin all theirs, to get it pinned, and it is just stunning. Look at that. It is stunning. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, I'm going to use it for a while, do my usual little checks on it, see what I think of it, see if I can grow to love the blades. Because I don't, it wouldn't be a pick if I can show you this. When they're open, it doesn't appeal to me for some reason. I can't, can't think why, but you know the way some things meet your eye? There it is there. That just doesn't meet my eye. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, let me see this. Oh, beautiful. Walk and talk to die for. Beautiful. It is about six, six and a half pull, but perfect. Absolutely perfect for a knife that you're going to use and uh, and carry. A beautiful knife. This will not be getting any hard carry um, because I want to keep it because it's a club knife and it's got the edge. I don't want to lose the edge. I'll be using the lamb's foot when I'm doing cutting uh, for the purpose of this knife, but it's a keeper. It's a collection piece. And uh, I hope you like it. I hope you like this theme. Um, so I'm on the lookout now for knives with animals. Just what I needed, another sub-collection. It came along. <laughs> Look, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I hope you enjoyed this knife. I'll do a full review sometime down the line when I've used it and I've got a better opinion of what the blades are. Uh, for something I didn't really want in the beginning, boy, am I glad I went ahead and got it because I wouldn't have been able to get another one of these afterwards. So there you go. Take care. Thank you very much for all those on the Slip Joint uh, Collectors cl uh, Club. Thank you so much for the work that went into getting this done. And for GEC and Bill, thank you so much for letting a little club like ours have just a wee bit of treasure that's solely for us. Thank you very much indeed. Bye now.